This presentation in the Advanced SQL series looks at the equijoin versus the one-sided outer join and the full outer join. You can you log into your MEC account and follow along with the examples presented here. You should be very comfortable with the SQL commands covered in the SQL Fundamental series before you do the Advanced SQL. An equijoin is when you join two tables. By default, you get output for data that has only got data related in both tables, and this is called an equijoin. We've seen an example of this in the student team database. We see the output on the left where we're just using the students table, and we can see that we actually have students with no team. But if we create or add the teams table to the query, then the students without a team disappear from the output. That's the result of an equijoin. You can do a one-sided join if you want to make sure that all the data on one side of the join, one table, shows up or is used in, in the output. The output on the left here, we have joined the tables. In this case, it's joined in the WHERE clause and we do not see students or no students are counted that don't have a team. However, if we do a right join, and it's right because students is on the right in the list in the from clause, we are now counting the students that do not have a team assignment. The choice of left or right is based on which table you want all the data from and the order it is listed in the from clause. It's just that simple. So in this example here, we have teams right join students, which means we're going to get all the data from students because we want it to show up in the count. Simply by putting students first in the from clause, I would switch from right to left on the join to make sure that the all the students get counted, even the ones without a team assignment. Let's do a one-sided outer join that shows all teams and counts the number of students on each team. The output on the left actually demonstrates that it's important to count a field and not just use count asterisk in some situations. We actually have uh, teams with no students, but they're showing a count of one simply because the count asterisk, the count asterisk is counting that single row of display based on the team name. If we count student ID, we'll see that actually this team, this one, and these two have no students assigned. There's also a full outer join. This will show all data from both tables. And in this query, I'm going to show team ID, team name, student ID, and student last name. So I'm not doing a student count. So you can see in the output, partial output shown here, that we have teams with no students. It shows up as null. We have students with no team. If we ask the question, which teams don't have students assigned, we would use a one-sided join as though we want to see all teams, but then use the is null criterion to limit the output to only teams without students. So we set up our command, select in our column names, from teams and all teams, so I'm using a left join to students, and then we have the students uh, student team ID is null. So if I run this query before I've added the is null option, then I'm going to see all teams, even ones that don't have students. Now I run the query with the is null and I see only teams without students. So that's a very uh, useful aspect of the one-sided outer join. So what we've covered in this presentation is the equijoin, one-sided outer join, 
discussing whether to use left or right. We've looked at a full outer join and we've looked at a one-sided outer join using the is null criterion.